Hello guys, I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. In this video, let's talk about metadata extraction and chunking using the unstructured library. Right, I have been creating the videos. If you go to my YouTube here, I have created three different videos about unstructured. The first one was basic stuffs about unstructured. Second one, extracting the table information from PDF. Third one was extracting the image data from the PDF. So this was the most demanded video from you guys. So I have created that. But the next one is if you want to create a robust RAG application, you need to have, let's say, information from the metadata also included into your uh, RAG pipeline so you can extract better information. Right. So that is what I'm going to go in this uh, video. I will first show you difference between the semantic sorts versus hybrid sorts and then walk you through the notebook. Before going into the notebook, if you want to follow along with me, I have updated the code in my GitHub repository. So inside YouTube stops, there is data cleaning and inside the data cleaning, there is this unstructured chunking and metadata IPython notebook. You can clone this repository and follow along with me. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see here, I have cloned the repository and then also activate the virtual environment. I hope you know how to create the virtual environment and activate it. So the packages that we install goes into that particular virtual environment for isolation. That is a good practice in uh, while working in, in Python programs. And I'm going inside the data cleaning and you can see there are different files and this unstructured chunking and metadata is what we are going to go through. I have already opened this in VS Code. Let me open the VS Code. So yeah, this is the VS Code. As always, I have included some of the links here for you to go through. And I am following these unstructured from unstructured website as well as this deep learning.ai short course, which is on the unstructured data for LLM application. So if you want to have, let's say the overall view, uh, then I highly recommend you to take this free short course from deep learning.ai. Other than that, the uh, documentation from unstruct is also quite, quite good. So yeah, first, before going uh, through the metadata extraction, let us first uh, find the difference between the semantic source versus the hybrid source, right? Uh, so what is semantic source? I hope you have followed many RAG um, applications, videos or tutorials, uh, post and so on. What we do first is we retrieve the documents from the vector database and the basic way to do this is the semantic source, which is looking for the content that are similar to a query. Right. So this is quite simple semantic sorts. It calculates based on the semantic score and you get top K uh, results. And then you pass that along with your query into the LLM and you get the answer. That is the normal semantic sorts. But sometimes what happens is there are some challenges, right? Too many matches, meaning that let's say you have a document, PDF document, for example, and you have same information in many places. And if you ask a query, what happens is the query matches to different parts of your document, in this case, PDF. Then what happens is you get too many matches and you might not get the right answer. That is one. Next one is similar content with certain time frame. What that means is let's say you have similar contents before 2024 and during 2024. Then if you pass the same query, what happens is it might mix match the information before and after. So if you want to already filter out that information, then having the additional information into the query might help. And the next one is loss of important information. For example, here section information. Let's say you have uh, 10 different chapters of a book in PDF. For example, you pass into the uh, vector database, you just do the query. Then what happens is, let's say you want to have from short 10 chapters because the same information might be into different chapters. Then you get information from all over the PDF, right? That might be also not that efficient. So what is the solution for that? That is the hybrid source. So what happens in hybrid source? It allows us to combine the similarity source that we did before with structured information that you extract from the documents as metadata. So we get information in the metadata and we can use the metadata as a filtering option for uh, let's say most robust retrieval or RAG applications. So I hope you get the idea why we want to do the uh, metadata stops here. 
now let's get started to the core part first just the set of things i hope you know how to run these things right so you can just uh, run this install and load the uh, watermark package and import the necessary things here so this one is just for the api i have been explaining this in my previous video but we are not going to go through the api call i, I will show you why because in the free there is some limit and in the SaaS version it might cost some money so most of us prefer to the free version and free version works quite well and i will show you here and then here i'm just using this watermark to show what version of the packages i'm using so you know that okay these are the versions if there is some conflict happening you can just install these particular versions because this video kind might be might be let's say vast in different time frames now let's go to the metadata extraction so this is the normal things here so what i am doing here is i am taking the winter sports dot pdf so if you go inside the data i am taking this winter sports pdf from the short course from deep learning dot ai so this is the book or let's say which has winter sports in switzerland right it has different chapters so it's easier to show how we can extract the metadata out of it so what i am doing here is I'm just importing the partition PDF from the unstructured partition dot PDF and I am using the file name as data winter sports dot PDF and I'm just passing that into the partition PDF. That's all what we need to provide into the partition PDF and once you do this and the response is the list of elements you can see here we have 901 uh, different um, elements. And if you want to see the content in some of that particular elements, you can see that it is list item, title, and so on. So if you want to see what are the different types of elements, then you can see here there is narrative text, list item, uncategorized text, and the title. So we can see different things here. Now what we want to do is we want to find the elements associated with the chapters, right? So here is the simple list comprehensive, which goes into the title and winter in the text. Right. If you just do a filtering here, you can see there is the type uh, title element ID is shown here. Text is here. Title winter sports in Switzerland. Right. You can see there is the winter what we want. And here is the metadata from here. You can see different metadata and there is page number, last modified file type and so on. And there is another uh, title because we want the title. So you can see here there is one title. There is another title that contains that information and it is truncated so you can go here and see for more options now that is the simple uh, simple list comprehension now what we are going to do is in the book there are chapters right so i'm just taking the chapters here and now what i'm doing is chapter ids is simple dictionary so i'm going inside the element uh, dict for element and for chapter in chapters and I'm just taking the uh, chapter IDs. So you can see here we have the different chapters with the chapter IDs associated with it. So that will be handy later on. So now you can see here is another list comprehensive here. So we said here chapter uh, two ID and what it shows here is you can see here is the type uh, narrative text element ID is element ID. We have the text that is the normal text information from that particular uh, type or the chunk of the information and if you go down here there is metadata that's fine but then here you can see there are other informations which we have up here also but there is one additional information that we extracted from here that is the parent id if you just go here we are saying parent id right if you go here we have the parent id and that parent id is associated with the chapters so now you can see e9933 if you scroll up that is e9933 why we are getting this particular id is because here you can see if x metadata dot get parent id is equals to equals to chapter to id ice hockey so we want from that ice hockey right and it goes to this ice hockey chapter and it is providing this as the parent id so we know that if some text is extracted for example this case here the narrative uh, text is being extracted and we know that this is extracted from this particular parent id meaning that this particular uh, chapter so we are already using the metadata in order to find okay with the text that we get is from that particular 
uh, chapter right now what we can do in order to query the things we can create a load document into a vector DB for that we are using the chroma DB so just installing chroma DB here and if you scroll down we just import the chroma DB and this is the normal setting of things and here we are creating a collection and client dot create collection we are saying name you can just provide any name and here there is the metadata of this particular chroma DB so this is not the metadata that we extracted it might be confusing this metadata is from the chroma db itself and we are saying we want to use the cosine and now you can see we are just using the simple things here what we are doing is for element in element dict we go into each element we get the parent id we get the chapter and collection dot add we are adding these into the collection so we are passing the documents equals to element text we are getting the text out of it and IDs is element element ID we are getting the element ID out of it and metadata is chapter chapter you can see here is the chapter so when we pass this it takes some time uh, to, to do this information to add or create the collection or adding things into the collection let's say in that way and then we can see okay, let's see what is the element in the vector DB itself so we can use this collection dot pick and here you can see this is the information that is in that particular uh, document so you can just print whatever document you are using you can just see here so now time to do the hybrid sorts with the metadata right so you can see here this is just the result so collection dot query now we are querying into the vector db query text is how many players are on a team so it is just the normal query and we can say and results equals to two meaning that I want two informate two results out of this particular query and here is the part where I'm saying where chapter is isaki meaning that it should go and query this particular query get the informations two informations from the chapter that is isaki so if you see here it just gets the information and there is two IDs associated with it and it shows the distance 0 0.4868 what is the similarity cosine similarity because we provided the cosine similarity here between this query and it shows here which one has the best similar and there is the metadata chapter isoki chapter isoki both of that from isoki and then embeddings null document and then here URI is null data null there is nothing and the information is in this text editor so here you can see it is extracting two different things so this is how you can get the information based on the particular based on the particular chapter that is the metadata we pre provided when we ask the question similarly you can now play around with it providing different names okay what is uh, jank frau right i'm passing this uh, question i'm saying okay chapter isoki and it goes into that and it will get the information and if you go here it says it is a wonderful and delightful site to watch the speed and also some other information and what if we so this is the metadata implementation but what if we don't pass the metadata itself what happens right so just for that example what i did here was i passed the same question and then uh, and results equals to two but without the uh, where what happens it provides two different things you can see the distance is different in different cases right and then here if i go here it says that okay the junk pro is and will always be my mistress among one something like this it is getting the information and another one is just chapter v i i i so it's just the random things but you see that it is getting the information but if you provide the metadata into the query itself it will provide us the better result just play around with it and just see how the honest structure library can help you get the information out of it now that is all about metadata but i want to uh, take some time now to explain you also about the chunking by title in this case because what is happening behind the scene when you pass the pdf into the partition pdf is, is it, it is going to do the chunking or the document is going to be chunked into different pieces based on the de facto chunking mechanism by unstructured but you can dictate on that one how from unstructured dot chunking dot title you can have chunk by title so what we can do now here 
is chunk by title we provide the response and then here we say combine text under yarn char equals to 100 and we say maximum characters equals to 3000 meaning that we are not passing the pdf itself here but what we are doing is first we have already uh, done the splitting of the pdf we have the response from the partition pdf for that response we are doing the chunk by title so that we have uh, let's say less number of chunks and that can be played with these two different arguments this you can just play around with your use case and now you can see when we pass this we just get the information and just to prove that it works with different chunks you can see that we have the element dict as 901 different chunks but then when we do the chunking mechanism here with this particular information being provided we have the 199 chunks so we have less chunks and we have more information into the chunk so if we ask the questions we get the answer because there is more context for the LLMs to get answer from uh, from those chunks I hope now you get the idea about metadata and chunking if you want to do this with the honest structure API also you can watch my previous video how to set up but there is two different API just uh, uh, high level things here free on a structured api go to this link uh, create the account for sas api you can go to this link i have tried with the free one and it works but then you can see here when you try multiple times the api error status 402 the organization associated with this api key has reached the freemium api monthly quota cap because there is some free quota being provided for the free api so i already used that so i cannot use but for you you can use either the one that I just showed you there are some syntax differences when you use the API as well as the Python SDK go through the documentation and yeah I hope now you know how to do uh, the better chunking from the honest structure package itself as well as extract the metadata information and provide that into your uh, interviewer query if you are new to this channel please subscribe I have more educational videos in the future yeah Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.